I've honestly got no idea how I've managed to keep this so quiet for so long. Introducing what I'm hoping are my new golf clubs for 2021. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Ah, you see, you all expected me to, um, to throw it in. I'm only joking, that's not the real box. Got you. Here are my irons, and um, yeah, I'm going um, to be a little bit more delicate with these because these irons, I've already ruined it a little bit, but these irons make me a little bit emotional. Guys, comment below, what do you think is in this box? And I cannot believe I finally managed to get hold of some. They may have cost me a little bit more than what I wanted to, but we're going to get into all that taxes and imports and things like that. Five, four, three, two, New iron. The standing knife would have been helpful. Right, I'm gonna be really interested to see who did get it, but the grand reveal. I'd also like to hugely thank Steve. Steve Langley lives in Australia for sourcing these for me. Me and Steve go back a very, very long way. And apart from being mates with Alex Etches, he's actually a really, really nice guy. So Steve, thank you ever so much. And they're wrapped up within an inch of their life. So thanks a lot. But for anyone who didn't get it, these are, um, look, I might need that Stanley knife. The suspense is killing you, I know. These are a set of pristine, uh, come on. Um, okay, I might have ruined it now, but. Uh, Mizuno MP32 irons. Yeah, they are. And I actually had no idea, but they've got three irons with them as well. Steve, you are an absolute legend. So guys, in this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit them on the launch mic to see how far they go, talk to you a little bit why I wanted these irons, how they're probably not in the perfect specs for me, how I might make them into my perfect specs, and how I'm really hoping they're gonna be in my bag for the foreseeable future. Guys, if you are new here, smash that subscribe button below for golf daily related content, and uh, I'll talk to you why they're costing me a bit more as well. Steve don't even know this either, so right, let's get these undone. But I'll tell you what, when Steve sent me these, I think they were from a Facebook group, I was absolutely over the moon that I managed to get a set. I played with Steve in Australia, went to go and visit Alex a couple of years, a couple of years ago now. Uh, and all we spoke about was pretty much Mizuno irons and beer. So these are in such good condition as well. I have seen a few different versions of these sets on different Facebook marketplaces and things like that, but none in this condition. They're absolutely, I mean, there's a few little wear marks on them, but they're absolutely pristine. And these are like 15 years old. Right, this is the last of them. Let's have a look and just see how good a condition these irons really are. So as you can see, we have three iron, two pitching wedge in Mizuno MP32 irons. And as I said, the thing for me is how good a condition these are. There's a few tiny marks on some of the heads, but apart from that, they're almost like unused. We have Golf Pride Multi Compounds on there, which are in fantastic condition. They're not quite thick enough for me, so I might put some extra layers of tape under them or just change them. And speaking of change them, S300 shafts, True Temper Dynamic Gold, good shafts, but not exactly what I would get fitted into in 2021. But guys, I'm so happy to finally get a set of these. And even if it turns out I can't use them anymore, I'm rubbish, I'm nowhere near good enough to play. I mean, let's be honest, the three iron, where is it? The three iron's probably gonna go, um, I mean, I'll put it in the office because she's a looker, but apart from that, that's probably gonna go nowhere near my golf bag. But the rest of them, I am hoping that I can maybe morph them into a custom fitted set for me. It just brings back so many good memories. When I could actually play back when I was like 15, 16, even up to 17, I remember playing in the scratch team every week. I remember playing in medals, Stablefords, open competitions, Yorkshire competitions. And these were absolutely, well, they were the best golf clubs I've ever owned. I don't mind saying that. So let's see how far they go. I'll talk you through some specs, not much tech because these aren't tech golf clubs. These are, um, these are emotional golf clubs. Or, make me emotional anyway. So the plan of evasive action is, we're gonna go nine iron, seven iron, five iron, and I know you all want to see the three iron, so I'm gonna leave that to last, and we need to, I was really hoping there wasn't a club left in there then, 
thankfully there wasn't. Did I get you all with the initial box, by the way? I thought that was quite, quite, anyway. Anyway, right, out the way. Nine iron, wherefore out thou? Nine iron. And one of the big things I want to say about these irons before I even start hitting them is how, yes, it is, I would class this as a bladed iron, I would class it as a muscle back, but one of the things I love about this iron and have always loved about this iron is the size and the shape of the face. It's got plenty of blade length, it's got a little bit of a top line, but nothing that's going to immensely put you off, and it's a nice rounded shape as well. Some of the modern day blades I found they're a bit more boxy, a bit more squarey, and they're just not down my alleyway at all. These are standard length, standard lie. So this should be okay in that regard. First shot felt like butter. It's a big high fade and it's 140 yards, which is there or thereabouts. Guys, comment below how far do I think I'm gonna hit the three iron? And if you did comment below initially in the video and guess right that I was getting a set of Mizuno MP32s, first of all, thank you so much for being so in-depthly watching the channel that you knew it was gonna happen. And also give yourself a one of them because that was a good effort. Look at that for an opening shot. Get in. I love golf. Until, we're, yeah, I know. It'll be coming, don't worry. All right. Well, that was a little bit heavy. That wasn't the best strike. Now, one thing I'm hoping that these don't do is go a little bit too far left, because usually I would have a flatter line. I'd have one and a half to two degrees flat. That would help me with my uh, ball left, especially with the more lofted irons. I'm hoping these are going to be A-OK. -okay. Not that one. Now you'll see on the back of these clubs, there is like a little bit of a, a slot, almost like a, a wave, you could say. And that for me, I've never really understood what it's for until now. It's just to help get a little bit more weight in that top line. So you do have a little bit, a tiny ounce, a little bit of weight in around the face to get that ounce of forgiveness, which Apart from that first shot, we have needed so far, I'm not going to lie. Five shots with each, let's see what we can get. <sighs> Love golf, me. <laughs> there was always going to be a shank in this video, just because I am so excited. We're going to discount that one for the numbers, because I felt like that one might have been coming for you. Right, come on, head on now. Get the emotion out of it. better. Now another interesting point here, because I'm going to make a lot of content around these as you can imagine, not just because I think you guys will enjoy the videos, will enjoy the journey, but because I'm going to absolutely love it. And if I really enjoy something, you guys always tell me that I portray that quite well for a good video. So how far am I going to hit these in relation to my current Mizuno JPX 921 Tours? Or 912, 921, 921. Because loft wise, these are as traditional as golf clubs get pretty much. And forgiveness wise, they should be quite similar, I would imagine. Yes, please. So seven iron for me is usually 165 yard carry, as you know, if you do watch these videos quite often, that was a little bit right, but I quite like that as a miss as opposed to left. And that's glorious, 166. It's been at 6,000, which is a little bit low, but for me, I do generally get quite a low spin anyway, so 6,000 is there or thereabouts for what I would expect. The shafts, I'm not gonna lie, feel a touch heavy. So at the moment, I'm using the AMT, the Advanced Mass Technology X100, and these are the S300, the standard True Temper Dynamic Gold. Could I Frankenstein them both into each other, maybe? I'd probably get someone else to do it, but I think that might be a possibility. Right, I've just hit one off camera there because I thought it was recording, but it wasn't recording, but it was recording. Uh, one thing I said as well was, I think it would be mega, mega interesting to do a debate on what was the best looking iron of all time that you would want to play, that you would physically want to have in your bag and use. Because the Mizuno MP33s are gonna be up there, and you may think that apart from one lousy digit on that bottom corner there, these would be the same club, and you couldn't be any further from the truth. They were quite different, they were different. So that shot there was the best shot I've hit so far and I think I said I'm not looking forward to the three iron as well but new cameras and all that. Oh that's left. That's not the one you want James. And that's not the club that will go left with anything. Anything. Ah oh, you've ruined the dispersion now. Ruined it.
lovely again. Right, that is, to be honest, that's six shots here. I thought it was only five, but um, four good, two bad. Let's look at the five iron. And this is where I would definitely have the five iron in the bag and potentially the four iron. The three iron, we're going to hit just giggles at the end of this video. And the five iron is the only club with a bit of a dint in the back. So I might see if I can get that buffed out. I don't know. It's a tool, not a vanity stick, but anyway. And in all honesty, if I do use these, you guys know that I don't really treat my clubs as well as I probably should. So they're not going to stay in this fantastic condition should I gain them. I might have to tweak a few bits before I do. Comment below as well, should I gain them? Should I gain them? Right, five iron. About 100 and 190, I think, with this for me would be nice. Oh, good Lord. I feel like a proper golf swing as well. That's, uh, see what I mean? I didn't even think about that. That is exactly what I want. Exactly. Maybe the three iron can go in after all. Right, come on. Dispersion hasn't been great so far, but I'm putting that down to pure unadulterated excitement. So, let's see if we can get some great dispersion with five five irons. That was a great start. And again, that's 205 yards. Imagine if these perform way better than the current irons I'm using. Because I don't think technology can go that far with players' irons, with blades, with anything that you want to look like this. Obviously, I could go hollow bodied, I could go MP20, HMB, I could go P790, I could go Ping I500, but then you lose not so much the look, but you lose that emotion and feel. Sounding all Italian with a Japanese club. Come on, three more and you've got the best five iron dispersion ever. Like, do you get a trophy for that? Or I don't know. Oh, it's just delightful again. Anyone fancy a game? Can we go and play like nine holes now with these? Please. Oh no, that's... I mean, it's not, it's not brilliant. Yeah, you ruined it. But those trajectories and peak heights are all exactly the same. And I think actually distance wise, they're all within about five yards of each other. That's 201. I only asked for 190, so we've got 10 yards worth of change in there. <laughs> oh, you've got way ahead of yourself there, like figuratively and Swing wise. I mean, it was never going to be perfect, was it? There is a small matter of a three iron left though. What was that? The good news is we leave them in. Plenty of people will be taking them out. I think Gaz would start the whole video again. Like he turns off the PlayStation at FIFA when he's losing. But anyway, that's each to their own. Um, I'm going to take out the numbers though, because it obviously just destroys the averages. And I want you to know how far they go on good and okay shots, not, um, nobody wants to see that, do they? Okay, three iron. We've lost the world's best dispersion with the five iron, but, but, could this be like a, a summer, almost driving iron, like a 230 yard little bullet? It, yeah, it looks quite small in fairness. A little bit low and left it's 215 not a wonderful strike starting to feel the pressure actually of using such a small headed iron like you just would not want if you're playing professional golf if you're playing for a medal if you're playing even against your mates for a fiver unless you're really good yeah you, do, you don't want that you don't want that trust me you do not want that let's see if we can launch one a little bit more I've fatted that as well. Hmm. This is why the three iron's probably just going to go in the office, in all honesty. Slappy and rubbish. Slappy and rubbish. I'm really disappointed with myself here. I know I joked about it, but I expected at least one. Even that's bottomy. 
Right, that's a load of shots hit with potentially my new golf clubs for 2021, which were initially released in about 2007, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and also I told you they cost me a little bit more than what they should have done. Uh, yeah, they got me at import tax, so um, that was an extra 100 and, 160 pound, I think it was, which I didn't, didn't envisage, but anyway. How have they performed? In fact, first of all, how have they felt? I've loved every single second of this video. I hope you guys have as well, have well, as well. Guys, if you are still here, comment below, let me know you're still here. And let me know how far you think, what did I say? The three iron went. The three iron wasn't very good, I'm not gonna lie. The rest of them were pretty good. Very, very pleased with the feel of them, which is exactly why I bought them. Very pleased with the performance of most of them, which is again, a little bit of why I bought them. You all know that I don't really care too much for performance on this channel. It's more feel, enjoyment, and hopefully they're gonna perform well as well. And comment below, should I use them? Let's take a look at how I've done. So dispersion, and this is the three iron to start with. I mean, it's just not very good. I didn't hit the three iron very well at all. And that is gonna be reflected in the numbers. That's the one club I'm very disappointed with. Uh, we'll cycle through them back to front. So this is the five iron. I mean, this was magical. That, um, that yeah, that um, happens every so often at the minute, which I'm a bit annoyed about. But seven iron, four good ones and two, I mean, one bad one really. I don't mind that as a miss, as I mentioned, because I'm trying to fight that whenever I swing and whenever I practice. Nine iron, pretty good, just one again. I don't know what, again, two out of however many 30 shots we've hit isn't that bad. And the three iron, as we know, absolutely rubbish. What about the numbers? So numbers, we have three iron, 216 total, five iron, 200 total, which is a lot more than what I expected. Obviously there's not a big gap there for the four iron, is there? Seven iron, 169 total, which is again, a little bit up on what I expected. I expect always around kind of 165 for that. And the nine iron, one, 39 total, 140 carry, so kind of creeping back on average a little bit there. From the carrier, we have club head speeds of 96, 92, 89, and 84, resulting in ball speeds of 129, 127, 116, and 106, so all relatively where you would expect. Spin rate, 3218 for the three iron, 4350 for the five iron, 5497 average for the seven, that's a little bit worrying, and the nine iron spinning at 7155. So I'm pretty sure there will be the odd person chiming in, in the comments saying those numbers are rubbish, the ball flights are rubbish, but I don't think they are. To be honest, that is definitely food for thought for me. That is definitely something which I can work towards. The shafts feel a little bit heavy for me, especially in the three iron as the AMT mass would make it a little bit lighter and help me launch it, so on and so on. I think the lie angle I could probably do with being a little bit flatter as well. That would help me have a little bit more confidence in the delivery. That's why I'm putting those two shanks down to because they're never your fault, are they, if you're a golfer? If you are a golfer and you've shanked it and you know it's never your fault, then subscribe because we can relate to that together. Um, and yeah, apart from that, I've really enjoyed it. I'm gonna enjoy this series on maybe reshafting them, definitely re-gripping them, making the grips a little bit thicker. I'll get them in a lie angle myself and change the lie angles. And I'll also check after 15 years what's happened to these standard loft, standard lie angles. Are they a little bit upright because people have been hitting them on mats like me and duffing them so the lie angles have moved? These are grain flow forged, which means the soft, which means generally they can move in time. So it's always worth checking your lie angle for things like that. And there is a little nugget for people who have stayed right to the end of the video. So go and check your lie angles of your irons and make sure they are as you think they are. Apart from that guys, smash that subscribe button if you do want to see more daily golf related videos. Leave us a like and comment below. What do you think and did you get it right? I'm over the moon as you can probably tell. Apart from that, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye.